Hello and welcome to Lauren's Travels. Today I am in Holland, Michigan. Very excited to bring you around. We started our morning visiting the famous De Boer's Bakery and Restaurant. We got there before noon and many pastry items were gone, but we brought back some apple cider donuts and this tasty pastry I can't pronounce. For lunch, we drove over to Big Lake Brewing. When you walk in, to the left is a small gift shop and you can bring home the beers you enjoy. I liked this orange cream shandy. They also had a beautiful beer garden outside. I ordered fish and chips and everyone at the table enjoyed their meals. We ended up doing a wine tasting at Warner's too, but I didn't film too much there. It was a little tipsy. We're now in downtown Holland and we're going to check out some stores we've been walking by and one place I saw on the drive in is called the Apothecary. I have to show you this wall because it caught my attention. They have this beautiful mural on the outside here. This downtown area is really nice. Lots of old buildings with stores on the bottom. I'm loving it. It's beautiful weather out today. Inside these stores were some cute Holland and non-Holland related things. But when I went to Cherry Republic nearby, I did pick up some cherry peach cobbler jam. The Nellis Dutch Village opened in 1952. There are many gift shops selling imported popular items like Delftware pottery and cuckoo clocks. You can order tulips from here and they ship them to you in the fall. There's some information about tulips in case you want to plant any. Dutch history is on display in the park from schoolhouses to famous people from the Netherlands. There are many photo opportunities, but young ones will enjoy a few rides and a petting zoo that include bunnies, chickens, and goats. The Golden Angel sits in the middle of the park. This is a street organ that's been around since 1908. I heard the Animaniac song and I am coming over. <laughs> I decided to drive over to Centennial Park, which is right in Holland, and there's a special tribute to the Wizard of Oz here, so let's go check that out. Author L. Frank Baum vacationed in Holland often. It is said he got lots of inspiration for Oz here. This beautiful park is right before reaching downtown Holland, where the shops I visited were. One last thing I wanted to do on this trip was get my nose pierced. It hurt for a second, but it was worth it in my eyes because I love how it looks on me. We had a wonderful experience in Holland and I liked getting to see the quirky Dutch village. I enjoyed crossing off another theme park on my visit list, but if you have another one that's quirky and fun like this, let me know down below. And that was my visit to the beautiful Holland, Michigan. I think it's so picturesque here and very relaxing atmosphere. Uh, I definitely recommend visiting if you are in this area of the mitten. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them down below. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time on Lauren's Travel.